Hey, hey, Scrapper Names fans, how are we all? So I'm finally back with an Arty Fun Friday video, which this video has been sitting here ready to be voiceovered for like a week, nearly two weeks probably. Um, so I have this photo of my dad with my daughter. It's from about two years ago. Um, I'm using this gorgeous Paige Evans cut file um, from her lovely Facebook page I've discovered. I think this is just FYI, I think this is the most amazing thing ever. She downloads or uploads whatever these free cut files to her Facebook page like every week I think it is and she has like a ton on there I've discovered um, and they're just gorgeous and I think it's the most amazing thing ever because she's like this big brand collection person and she downloads these, gives us these free cut files. Anyway, so if you're not sure what the file is, it's to use with the Silhouette Cameo machine cutting machine which I got for my birthday so it's my new toy so I use it a lot at the moment or as much as possible so what I decided to do is I don't quite like the color of the cardstock I'm using I had to use through it so I decided to get a bit mixed media with it I'm using a blue metallic -y kind of gelato I've smooshed it onto that packaging and I have decided and I sprayed some water on it and smooshed it around with a brush and I'm just flicking my brush across those hearts just to give it a bit of a watery colory kind of look I didn't care how it went on as such I just wanted it to give it that look now I fussed around for ages as to what paper pattern paper I was going to back the cut file onto um, I got a heap of new papers in for my birthday and in this and a, a little bit of a, a haul I got ages ago um, so I wanted to use some of those up um, so I did fluff around for a while, which you don't see thank god you know for you um as to how i was going to do it um i'm still getting used to in the hang of how to use the cut files with backing them and what to do and how to make them look cool and all the rest of it so anyway i've gone with this one which for the life of me i can't remember what the collection is i apologize i don't know if i showed it at the beginning go back and have a look i may have shown you anyway Anyway, so then I decided to use, I decided it needed a bit of bling, so I've added this blue glitter adhesive um, foam. That's what it is, glitter adhesive foam. It's kind of cool. I've never used it. I haven't used it yet since I brought it a few weeks back. So I thought I'd give it a go. I was going to use it to back some of the hearts, but it was a bit hard to sort of cut into, like finicky, um, like to fi like finely cut. So I've decided that, that I would just map my photo onto it. So I used a bit of um, vellum just to soften it up a little bit. Um, that's my new thing at the moment. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, so I do that behind this photo first, and then I'm going to put it on to the glitter. I think my niece is awake, and she's not very happy. So I'm going to have to pause my vo voiceover, and I'm going to have to come back to it, guys. So I do apologise. Um, I will be back shortly to finish it off. Okay, back for now. See how we go. She's changed. She's sitting. We're having snuggles. We'll see how we go. All right, so as I said, I was backing. I backed my photo onto a piece of vellum just to add that sort of softness around with the glitter. Uh, I just didn't want that sort of real bright in your face kind of glitter look. Um, but I still wanted that sparkle, blingy brightness there as such, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, what am I doing? Fussing around looking for a, some tape. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. Had to go rummaging through. I've got like, I've <laughs> kind of got a bit of a, a hoard I discovered of uh, double sided tape. So, in my defense, I also have my daughter and stepdaughter that keep stealing my tape. So, I kind of have a bit of a stash hidden away. So that way, it's, you know, there's enough for everyone. All right. So, as I said, this. This glitter is not your thin cardstock. It's actually like it's foam and it's got an adhesive back. So it is quite thick. Um, so I've, I have done a thin layer, but it couldn't, I couldn't cut it to mat the cut file on. So that's why I've done it on the photo. I did want to use it. I just, yeah. Um, so I just cut a thin layer there and it will give that, um, it will give the photo a bit of dimension as well off the, um, off the cut file. Now, as I said, I am getting used to using, and this was as to this photo. This has been sitting there. This layer's been done for at least probably two weeks. So I haven't been very good with keeping up with my um, 
my regular challenge Tuesday and things like that, um, just life gets in the way and, you know, and getting design team stuff done, which is important. And um, with this software, it does take a bit to get everything. It does take a bit for it to upload. So it doesn't, I don't always get to getting the, the voiceovers and everything done. Anyway, so it's been this was one of the first few attempts at cut files. So I do take a bit fussing around and whatnot with it. Um, so you'll see me probably playing around. So I did go through and pick out some papers, just some scrap bits of paper I had sitting in my stash to um, back that I'm going to put behind in places of my cut file, behind the hearts. So this is a case of craft white paper, but it's got um, a floral kind of print in it, like embossed kind of paper, I guess. Um, so I've got my Distress Oxide in that green kind of colour and I've decided to sort of um, rub it in, I guess. And then I'm just getting one of the hearts that were cut from the, the cut file and just tracing around to give it a bit of a, to cut it out. And it's going to sit behind my, um, one of the hearts in the cut file, or a few actually, I think I'm going to cut a couple of them out. I just, um, I wanted to go for a nice soft, kind of almost a garden kind of floral look because the photo was taken outside actually at the back of my auntie's house, my dad is um, showing my daughter how to play, hit a golf ball using a plastic golf stick. As I said, it's quite cute. My dad quite loves golf. Um, but, yeah, so it's outside and just giving that whole outdoorsy kind of feel to it. Um, I do, my niece is trying to play with my, my microphone, headphones. Um, so I'm just showing you how I do this process, just in case, like me, you are a bit new to the whole process of using a cup file. So as you can see, I only did a few pieces just to give a bit of pops of different um, fill-in pieces. Across the backing there. And I think I did think about doing some shaker but then I kind of was a bit stretched for time as well so I did kind of have to kind of tune down what I was doing a little bit you gonna say hi She's not sure what's going on. I'm talking, but she's like, you're not talking to anyone, Annie, Annie Amy. What are you doing? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So I had to stop. As you can see, I've changed lighting. So I've obviously gone to, like, the next day or something and come back to it. Um, so I'm just playing around now with what embellishments I'm going to use. I've used, I've put a Wild at Heart there, cut apart sheet. I'm using my, um, one of my Kitaholic kits. So this would have been last month. Sim it's a, using the Simple Stories I am. A collection there, sticker sheets, and I'm kind of just gonna. I wasn't sure how to embellish because it is a big cut file, so I do little patches of embellishing. Oh yeah, see, she's 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 going along with it as well. Yeah, she's telling you a little bit about my my thing. <laughs> so these are just some little phrase stickers that were in the um. Simple Stories sticker book as well. Now, if you're a Kidaholics fan as well, of um, you would have seen me use these last month. Last month? What month are we? June? Nearly the end of June. My God. Uh, yeah, when I've done some of those. So I do have all plans going back into July. I'm hoping... I say this all the time, of getting back into a schedule. I do have a schedule every month planned of what I'm going to do and when, and I just never get to it. So I'm hoping get to, you know, keep up with my uh, my channel plans of my Challenge Tuesday. and my. They may not always go up on Tuesdays. I, I can have the video ready. Um, it's just how long it takes for the software to save it and then, you know, obviously uploading it to YouTube. So it just depends on how long that might take. Um, so I may not necessarily be on a Tuesday, so just keep an eye out. But we'll go with it's a challenge Tuesday, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen and now my niece has got her head tilted in front of me going, Hi. <laughs> sorry, guys, it's a bit of a distraction. <laughs> 
Yes, a bit of an extra audience today, but she is adorable. <laughs> and again, if you've watched my videos, you would see she's freaking cute. So, yes. All right, now I'm going to play with the title. So this was a bit interesting. I've wanted, trying to use up my thickers. So I'm trying to think of titles of late that can use up some of the thickers I've got. Um, or in this case... I'm going to play around with cutting words, uh, cutting letters apart to try and make letters. So you will see what I mean when I do this. I even use, I think, the number three for an E. Uh, from memory. So I think my title ends up being Poppy's Golfer, I think. You'll see shortly what I mean. I don't think I make you watch it all. But I snip here. Look, I think I use, I think this is like a number nine or a number six or something. And I snip it down to make an O because I'd run out of O. <laughs> Yep, see, Pops Golfer, because, yeah. Um, but you know what? Who cares? At the end of the day, I was like, this is going to be my layout. It's going in, well, it's going in my daughter's book. But, again, it's as I've said before, it's it adds a bit of funk to it. It's different. And you know what? It's using up your stash, and it's got to go. Um, you know, I could use it for art journaling. I could use it as a background. I know I could use them for background. But I need the letters. I've got the other letters there, so why not use it? And you know what, guys? Give it a go. You know, I'm sure my daughter's going to look at it and go, meh. You know, she's probably going to notice. Um, she will now if she watches this video or if I point it out to her. But, you know, whatever. I looked at it and I was like, that kind of looks a bit funny. I'm, you know, doing this recording, I'm just like, that is kind of funny. You know, inventive. Inventive. You know, whatever. Anyway, so I'm just adding, as I said, some little clusters of embellishments here. Um, because of the cut file being the love hearts all clustered together like that, I thought it looked a bit busy. So I didn't do some, I didn't do really major embellishing. As I said, I sort of did it and then went, oh, I'm a bit stuck on how to embellish it. It needs some pops of, you know, prettiness. Um, and it's a bit hard for someone like me who's used to doing lots of embellishing or, or playing with the big embellishment clusters. Um, oh, really? Do you disagree? Do you think I should have done some big ones? <laughs> I'll turn her into a scrapper when she stops eating the product, I promise. I keep telling her that. She keeps going over to the scrapbooking trolley and I'm like, no, you can't have it. Not do you stop eating them. The other day I seen her try and eat sequins. Um, yes, so not yet. She's only 12 months old, so it's a bit early for to introducing scrapbooking to her. Um, anyway, sorry, guys. Distracted, distracted, distracted. Uh, so, yes, as I said, so I just added little pops of embellishments. Uh, I wanted to use this tassel up. I kind of liking the tassels after having them in my kidaholic kits. I wasn't sure what to do with them at first, but now I've got them. I'm just like, oh, okay, can use these. These kind of work. Um, so I added this just to add another pop of bright colour. Uh, it adds a bit of different texture to the page as well. Um, and to stick it on, I used this blue coloured um, thread as or twine. Uh, and I just looped it through and then and looped it around to the top and sort of stapled it and glued it through across the back. Now you can see the staples, which look a bit eyeball-y at the moment. So I, I think I do cover them up from memory. I don't have the layout in front of me because I have a big monster now on my lap jumping on me. Uh, and I am just going to use some of my, I think I'm using my past kit from Kidaholic Kits. I think I'm using my May kit. Um, so there's some resin flowers and things like that in there as well. Uh, I am using now, I decided to use, I've got a gazillion of those hearts from the background, from the cut file, and I'm using my Colour Blast shimmer pen here, and I'm going to colour, I think that's five of them in with this gold shimmer pen. I actually haven't used the shimmer pen, stop, since getting it in the Colour Blast kit, because I get it as, as part of a kit club as well um, and it has a really unique little shimmer to it which was really nice I don't know if I can catch it on camera as well um, but again it just added some little filling spots filling spots uh, on the cut file as well so I do give you a bit of a close-up you can kind of sort of see it shimmering a little bit I do think I add a bit of foam tape to these across I might I'm not sure I think I did with some of them just to give a bit more dimension to match up with the resin hearts, I thought. Not hearts, flowers, sorry. That could be wrong. 
I'm, I'm obviously wrong because that's that's normal glue. I'm not sure. I'm sure I added something else here to give it, but don't you hate that? You know you've done something. Well, you know what? We'll wait and see. So as you can see, scattered them around a little bit just again to add another balance of bling. So I've got the blue glitter and now I've got this just to balance off that, you know, a bit of sparkle and shine. It's a bit of an odd layout for me because of, as I said, there's little bits of pops of things here and there. Mm. Yeah, is that Poppy and Hannah? So, as I said, I do apologise for the extra add-on bonus of having the 12 months old in the background. She is a bit funny and she is a bit cute. So using these um, puffy hearts, I really love these. Um, and there's heaps of them. Again, it's a last month Kidaholic kit and they are from oh, on the tip of my tongue. Pink Fresh, Pink Fresh Studio, I think. I think. And again, they just added a little bit of something different to those little hearts there. They're a bit dimensional, so it just balanced out with the the resin flowers. And I've got some wood veneer hearts as well that were on there. I just, I just tried to add a little bit of balance with it. Now, I did try and use this gold Posca pen. Now, I'm not used to this is new to me. My girlfriend got it for me in my little stash I got for my birthday. Um, it didn't work well, so I still need to learn how to use it. So I put it down and I end up doing a doodly border just with my normal black pen. And then I think that layout, this layout is completed. So I hope you like this layout. As I said, it's been two weeks in the making of you know, finally getting to my YouTube channel. Um, I do apologise for the delay of videos not going up as usual, my usual old schedule. I am going to try and get back to that. Um, even if it's not necessarily on the Tuesday and Friday, there will be, you know, somewhere around there. Um, but definitely keep an eye out for my, you know, my design team ones as well over on the Kidaholic Kits page as well as the Scrapping Fun Kits page. Um, but, yes, that is everything. There'll be some close-ups at the end as always, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments. And thank you so much, lovelies, for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.